a local comic book store was having a half price off sale. I couldn't resist. I went and I picked up a big stack of comic books. So big I'm gonna even like be able to show you here right now. Let's take a look at the books I picked up next on this video from Bronzeville Comics. Hey there, panelologists. This is Jim from Bronzeville Comics coming to you with another video. Before we get started, do all those things we enjoy. Like, comment, subscribe. Getting close to 5,000 subscriber giveaway. Um, I'll be having details about that very soon once I put the prize package together. In the meantime, um, you know, uh, like, comment, subscribe. If you enjoy the um, content that I'm putting out here, we come out with videos about four times a week, 10 a.m. on Sunday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Um, sometimes we have surprise videos throughout the week and I try to do some shorts. Follow us on the other socials, Instagram, Bronzeville underscore comics. Same thing on Whatnot. I do Whatnot sales every Monday night at 10 p.m. Eastern time. And uh, you can get previews of those shows if you sign on to Whatnot. If you're not yet on Whatnot, but you're interested in, you can get $10 off your first purchase. If you sign up with the um, link in the description of this video, it doesn't have to be with me, but you get $10 off your first purchase with anyone. And, um, also, in the link, uh, in the description of this video is a link to my eBay store as well as my email. So, um, I set out on the road Saturday morning hunting for comic books. So, we're on a little bit of a road trip this morning. We are headed, we're in Wayne, New Jersey, and we're headed, and I think this is, if I remember correctly, this is the parking lot for Zap Comics. They are having their big sale this morning. So one of the nice things is it's a nice uh, uh, parking lot. There's a Whole Foods here, so people are getting their food. I guess they're, they're Thanksgiving accoutrements, and uh, somebody's pulling out, so we'll go right in where they were. And we'll go to Zap Comics and see what they have. I suppose they like a lot of 50% off. So Zab Comics is located in Wayne, New Jersey. If you're finding this uh, video, um, the day it comes out, it comes out on Sunday. They're doing their sale today and tomorrow, Monday, uh, November uh, 19th and 20th. Um, and I'm going to guess they were replenishing the back issue bins. There were a bunch of folks there digging. There were people with kids there. Um, I didn't get there right at the crack of dawn. I kind of slept in a little bit. Um, not necessarily 100% by choice. But um, I started digging. And Zab Comics is uh, like in, located in Wayne, New Jersey. Um, they're one of the major uh, comic stores in northern New Jersey. They set up at a lot of local shows. They set a, up at New York Comic Con. Um, and they had um, a lot of people there uh, helping out. They Really, like, a great experience. Their back issue bins were exceedingly well organized. Um, everything was priced. And everything was 50% off, including their wall books. Now, they, they had some good wall books. They didn't have, like, the wall books that I saw they had at... Um, at uh, like New York City Comic Con, so um, they had, but they had some back stock, and I, I appreciated the digging. So I went through, and I probably picked up, well, definitely by volume, more books for the PC than anything else. So um, since everything was alphabetically, that's kind of the way that we're gonna uh, go with the way I was, I was pulling them out. I got like a stack about this big, and one of the employees comes over, you want a box, so they gave me a diamond box. They put it up front when I had it filled up. I ended up filling up two diamond boxes, and um, I'll talk about that at the end. So uh, let's just go through uh, what I got, because uh, there's quite a bit to go through. I'll go through it fairly quickly, but there's, you know, um, Alien Worlds number one. It's cool. Nestor Redondo cover um, from Pacific Comics. Uh, early 1980s. I'm not sure the exact year. This was an interesting book. Alien Worlds 3D Special. This is the first published artwork by Arthur Adams, and the Arthur Adams interior artwork is inked by Dave Stevens. Um, Aquaman 41. Just a nice... I was, I was basically... Most of the DC Silver Age books that were in decent condition, I was grabbing. 
uh, including these three. Captain Action numbers two, three, and four. This series only ran five issues, and it was based on an action figure um, who they had did, you know, different costumes you could put him in, including some superhero costumes. So DC licensed the property back in the uh, in the 60s, and it ran for five issues. Interesting, it's like Gil Kane art. I, at least one of the issues is inked by Wally Wood. These books, um, so the first three are going for sale because I already have Aquaman. But I'm going to build this run. I just need issues one and five. That's going on the PC. Um, Captain America, uh, 261, Newsstand. Just pick this up, Nomad Appearance. Challengers of the Unknown, number 70. Neil Adams cover, which is very typical of this era of DC Comics. I picked up this, Dark Claw Adventures, number one, part of that Amalgam uh, universe. This combination of Batman and Wolverine. Detective Comics, 344. And Detective Comics um, 375. Just some cool Batman Infantino uh, Detective Comics. Like I said, you know, I was picking up all the decent silver DC. Bronze DC. This is kind of a key I've been picking up. Um, Detective Comics 437. This is the first, uh, uh, the reintroduction of the Manhunter, the Paul Kirk version. This um, series that was done by Archie Goodwin and Walt Simonson. That's going in the spec pile. This next book, a little bit of damage, but for the price, it's got this chipping here on the top. This is Firestorm number three, first appearance of Killer Frost. $1.50, it was half price. And then I did appreciate this one little aspect, and this is just kind of the, um, the, the, the um, you know, crazy detail that as a comic collector I, 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 I look at. Um, these issues, the first issue special, were filed under F rather than 1. I do everything alpha pneumatically, you know, even if it starts with a number. This is this this goes in F on my collection. This, I think there were like 15 issues of this series. This is the green team, which is really weird. It's uh, Joe Simon created it, and it's interesting. It's got art by Jerry Grandinetti, who made his name doing a lot of those um, duotone covers in war comics in the early 60s. And this is a really nice copy. And then this Metamorpho copy, number three. I think I already have this. This might be an upgrade. Um, I should figure that out before we see him. And that's Codename Assassin that nobody really cares about, but uh, just another issue in the run. Um, Green Lantern 51, first cover appearance of Kyle Rayner. And then Green Lantern, volume four, number 43, Black Hand um, grabs the, uh, becomes a Black Lantern ring. This is going to go... I, I think it's got 9-8 potential. And that book is over $100 in a 9-8. So uh, I'm actually trying to sort this. First issue specials are going in the PC. Um, and then, yeah, we're going to sell those. Um, Hercules, number one. This is the second uh, limited series for Hercules. We know he's coming to the MCU. Just put that aside. Uh, then some House of Mysteries from the Dial H for Hero era. 161. They... A lot of these have Martian Manhunter backstory, backup stories. 163. Um, 169. And these are, you know, most in solid mid-grade. 170. Infinite Crisis. You know, there weren't a lot of keys in the bins. Like, there was no number three or five in this. But I really uh, have been enjoying... I enjoyed this series. I've been um, picking up the all the... Um, variant covers when I see them just trying to get those in the wild so another one of these sketch covers that's going on the PC Invaders number 8 first Union Jack maybe we'll see Union Jack I think we did see didn't Union Jack just come back into the comics and 23 first Scarlet Scarab that's who um, the uh, kind of the father of the um, romantic interest in the Moon Knight TV series is really supposed to be Scarlet Scarab I don't know if we'll see him again or not. Let's go to sale. This one, um, I like Justice League of America 71. This is um, the issue where Martian Manhunter leaves the JLA. He had not appeared in a while. I don't think he had appeared since um, Sikowski left the series in like issue 63. And it might have even been before that. Um, Justice League of America, New 52, number zero. Or just Justice League, I should say. 
Um, this is the first time we see the Seven Deadly Sins in the modern age. But this one, and this is a, a really sharp copy, Justice League 31. This is the first full appearance of Jessica Cruz. Um, so this is a contender that's going to go in the clean and press pile. Korak, Son of Tarzan, number 46. This is the first issue when the uh, Tarzan properties came over to DC. They got this big first DC issue button. Uh, this is a 1972 book. I did not have this in the collection. This is a nice copy. This is like an 85, I think. Um, so that's a good collector's copy for me for my 72 collection. Um, Marvel Premiere number 44. This is the first solo Jack of Hearts story. Uh, this is going to go in a spe spec pile. We're going to go in the spec box in case they ever bring Jack of Hearts to the MCU. And um, Marvel did that a lot. I showed you the Hercules miniseries. They did it with Hercules. They did it with Jack of Hearts. They did it with Wonder Man, um, Falcon, where these established characters, kind of their first solo stories would be in the Marvel premiere line. And then a little bit later on, they'd get an ongoing series, a one-shot, a miniseries, whatever. Um, Metal Men, I grab number nine. Number 15. Again, solid mid-graders. Number 20, this has, uh, what is it, Egg Foo is in this one, I think. Wonder Woman villain. And um, number... What number is this? 35. Okay. Now, I was going alphabetically. I'm going to show you this all in one fell swoop. I said it was a title that, for whatever reason... I basically collect every DC title for the last 40 years. But whatever reason, this title, I kind of cut out or I didn't start early on. And I, I had just a handful of issues. Fortunately, I had the information on my CLZ app of which issues I had and hadn't. And I just grabbed because the prices were so good. Um, I grabbed uh, a whole bunch of this title. And it is volume two, the first ongoing volume of, um, of Nightwing. And I picked up 89 issues this is oh my god it's so heavy this is what i got these are all night wings and all night wings those are all night wings oh so those are all going in the pc um and that's the crazy kind of collector i'm gonna just put these down on the floor so they don't tumble anywhere there we go oh boy really no huge keys in that run um, and you know, some minor keys in there, but that was more just for me to kind of fill out the PC. Um, speaking of PC, um, yeah. And I paid just maybe over a dollar a book for those. Some of them, because everything was half off, some of them were listed at $1.50, $2, dollar $2.50, a couple of $3. So, um, I just thought for essentially a dollar a book, I thought that was a really, you know, uh, I had kind of in the back of my mind saying, ah, I kind of want to pick up the Nightwing run. Um, then I picked up these books. I think I'm going to PC these as well. This was, I think, an 18-issue series of Richard Dragon Kung Fu Fighter. Because since the Kung Fu craze was really hot in the 70s, both DC and Marvel had to have white guys who did Kung Fu, um, you know, as the star of the book. Uh, there are three keys. There's issue number one, first appearance of Richard Dragon. There's issue number, what is it, five, I believe? is the first Lady Shiva, and then the last issue is where um, it's the first Bronze Tiger. Uh, um, I can't remember the name of the top, off the top of my head, the name of the character, the, 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 the secret origin of the character becomes Bronze Tiger. Um, so we got issue number three, number four. It's a nice copy. The, actually, is it this one? Yeah, issue number four, Jack Kirby art. I think it's number four. Number five. Get that focus. There we go. Or I'm sorry, number six. I think it's, or is it seven that's Lady Shiva? No, yeah, it's number five. Number, that's number seven. Number eight. There, no first Lady Shiva in there. That's a big book, though. The first Lady Shiva. Number 12 and number 15. It wasn't, I don't think, a hugely collected series, so it's a little bit harder to find. So that's going in the PC pile. Up next... Rocketeer Special Edition number one. Really sharp copy. Dave Stevens cover, um, including there's just a little bit of a hint of good girl art down here in this. But uh, we're getting Rocketeer again. This is might be a contender. I'm going to give it a clean impress and see what happens. Um, then I pick this book up whenever I can see it. Shade the Changing Man number one. 
uh, this Steve Ditko. And again, Shade was a member of Justice League Dark. The And this book is, I mean, three bucks. I, I must have at least a dozen copies of that. Uh, Superboy, 100, a 12 center. Sure, why not? This is, um, and I'm going to put this in the spec pile. It's a Whitman variant. And you know how I love DC Whitman variants. I do not. Um, and there's a reason for that. Um, it's Super Friends number 25. You would not be able to tell that from the cover. Um, this is the first appearance of Beatrice da Costa, who becomes green, fury, who becomes flame, um, or fire. Uh, there's a new Fire and Ice DC series that DC's doing right now that has that character. Her first appearance is in this comic. It's a very kind of um, under or overlooked key. And I think I had highlighted that on a video a while back. Uh, Superman's Girlfriend, Lois Ning, number 86, an 80-page giant with a Neil Adams cover. That love those Neil Adams covers. Swamp Thing, number 19. Good, solid copy. This is after Wrightson's done. Um, didn't last too much longer after this. Right, and I did the first 10 issues. And number 20. I don't know if Mr. Redondo was doing the art on that or not, but those are both PC books. Trying to put together that Swamp Thing run. Uh, I do have the keys then. They had some Teen Titans Go. I just threw those in. These are all going into PC. Uh, it's numbers 19, 21, 35... And 52. I should have had the foresight to collect that series. PC. And then this book. And if you know, you know. Recent uh, revelation. Young Avengers number two. Um, the second appearance of Young Avengers. I think this is the origin of Iron Lad. Cassie Lang gets powers. or establishes, I think she gets powers in this one. Um, but these are all pretty cool. I'm going to put this. Uh, this is going PC. Uh I like that Young Avengers run. I did not buy it at the time. But uh, that those were the books from the back issue bins. And then they had some wall books. Again, nothing huge on the wall. There were no, like, you know, books in the hundreds of dollars. I think they were just trying to move uh, some, some wall books. So as I was waiting online, I was looking, and I picked out a few, and I kind of waited for them to ring everything up because I to see if I was in budget. So they had, like, the cash register. They were going through all of the back issues. Oh, one came up as toys. Back as your back goes, you know, uh, and one came up as Pokemon. Um, but you can see, like, you know, dollar, dollar, 75 cents, two dollars. Um, and I was within kind of the budget I wanted to spend, so I picked up this sharp copy of OMAC number one, uh, by Jack Kirby. It's kind of the second wave of Jack Kirby after he did, um, the, the the new gods fourth world stuff and then he did commandy demon and swamp thing and then this was uh, like a year and a half after that actually two years it's probably about two years after um i mean i'm sorry need to swamp thing commandy and demon um this is two years later that, those were in late 72 this is late 74 so and i always like i saw that the art um i did not realize this is one of the weirdest covers you're ever going to see i've said this before on the channel when i was a kid I thought that this woman was just like contorted in something that way. Like it doesn't, why is he throwing this, this like woman? It's, it's, she's like an Android kind of thing and she isn't put together yet. So she's kind of like dismembered. It's such a weird cover. Uh, Jack had to be doing some substances back at those at that point in time. Almost. I mean, you would have to think. So that is going in the PC for now. Um, and these next two books are going in the PC. I saw these, and I thought the price was really good. They're both really sharp. They're actually potential contenders after a good press. And they're um, from the same series, Static 33, this classic cover. And then these the, the print run on Static was decreasing as the run went along. And you have to remember, um, these books are like 96, 97 animated series wasn't until like 2001 or 2002 so the this um the, the other this is the last book i picked up is static 44 it's from 1997 this is the penultimate issue of the series um the last issue is a really pricey one that's like hundreds of dollars 
um, in in high grade. But um, I collected this up to a point, just like most of the milestone things. And I was cutting back on some things, you know, because I was going to graduate school and paying for that. So I did cut down on some things like Nightwing. Um, so this is going into the PC too. And I think it's a, a sharp enough copy that at some point I will get it graded. If it's going into the PC for me right now, I don't need to get it graded in a hurry. Um, you know, I guess if I get as part of collections and I get a 9.8 back, um, I'll have to dig those out and see if they're better than 9.8. So anyway, that is the haul. I picked up, I think it was a total of 146 comic books. Most of them, like <laughs> almost two thirds of them were Nightwing. 146 comic books and I spent um, 300, $301 plus tax. So I'll call it $301. Um, and that was the haul for the day. I think I got some pretty good stuff. Uh, and... Um, I'm, I'm happy with some of those books. Again, some of these, a lot, a lot of PC, uh, a few, like maybe what I got th three right now going to go off to go into my, uh, grading pile. And then a bunch of them, including some of those, you know, mid grade silver age books will be popping up on whatnot. So let me know what you think of the hall. If you're in the area and you're seeing this before the end of business on Monday, the 20th, Take a ride on over to Zap and check out their books. Uh, I thought it was a really good uh, sale. Their prices in gen are pretty reasonable in general. And then 50% off, no brainer. Um, and that's why I kind of went buck wild. But I stayed well within my budget. And I was happy for that. So thank you for stopping by. Uh, if you like, take a look at a couple of my other videos here. And this is Jim saying until next time. Enjoy your comics.